Hey everybody, I would like to go back and revisit this. And what I wanted to talk about is the zip ties. First of all, I think these guys saw them out on the back porch and that's why they went over there. And by them, I mean Hunter. So they beat feed it. So they beat feed it up the road. They're walking pretty swift, right? Casey's huffing and puffing. And look. So look. He's looking directly over there. He's looking at what's going on at that house. Now, if it's, you know, maybe I'm, you know, speaking out of turn, but aren't officers trained to spot nefarious activities like what's going on here? I thought they were. I mean, there's three people standing out here that I can see. Actually, there's four. There's two down below and there's two in the window that are up there right now. So he's turning to go over there and see. So you can see the two up in the window now. And he's, you know, taking a little turn going to the driveway. And he's looking. He's seeing him. He's watching this guy over here. He starts... And now his head's down. He's not looking at these people. He's thinking, oh, now what do I got to do? So he's looking to the right. He's not even... He's looking at them right now. But he's headed to the right. Now, none of these guys have moved over there. They're all moving to the left. But he's on a mission. He's moving to the right. Up around the other side, the back side of the house. Ignoring what's going on here. By the way, you guys, that's Dylan's rig right there on the end. That little, that white little Jeep Wrangler right there. So this guy's on the phone. Look at this guy's on the phone. Now they're moving out of the window. And he's not even looking at him. This guy, I think, threw something down. There's a guy with the backpack and that arrow right there. And they're busy texting. So Casey's walking up and Casey's going to talk to that guy in the white shirt. But all he does is give him a card, tells him, you know, this is where you can call us, if, you know, about your dog or whatever he said was lost. Dog my ass. Now he's got a he's got an ankle monitor on. You can see it down in his um his sock. And he's also playing with golf balls, you guys. And here's over here. See, look at that. That is Rosendahl peeking around the side. Look at him. Off to the right side. He's standing there peeking around. So then Rosendahl, well, he gave, Casey ends up handing this guy a card. No front license plate. Yeah, and all you can see the boys over there still watching on the, on the top of that roof over there. So they're watching what's going on. So if you watch up here, before this happened, I didn't get it on this one, but... In fact, so what happened before Casey got up here is the, is is Hunter and Rosendahl were talking very closely. I mean, they could might have well been kissing. I swear to God, they were that close. And it looked like he actually handed um, Hunter something. But anyway, I've got another video for that one. But what I want to, to address here is the zip ties. These guys are obviously trained to be alerted to hazing type activities, right? Why didn't he say something to him about those zip ties? Why was it ignored? I'll tell you why. Because they don't give a crap. They allow it to happen. And I bet you, Hunter's one of the one of the the guys on on the campus that does that. I think that's why he's there. He's he's at, at this point, you guys. He's already graduated. He's not he's not even going to that university anymore. So why is he there? 
I can think of a few different reasons. See, he's giving him the the what what. See, look, it looks like he's handed him something right there. They're talking awfully close, don't you think? So he walks into the house and he looks back at Rosenbaum, gives him this look like, oh, dang it, man. Yeah, I know. So that's what I wanted to address here is the zip ties. Why the zip ties were not addressed? Because it's a hazing thing and they know it. So why didn't they do anything about it? That's what I want to know. Do you guys, I wonder if the cops, like, you know, supply them with zip ties. It'd be something they do. I don't know, but this whole thing was crazy. And it should have been addressed. We're not going to get into the Kaylee thing on this one. This is about Hunter right there. The one that was hired in December of 2021 in the middle of Sticker Gate, where this guy right here, right there, he was born and bred into the church. His parents were in the church when he was born. He grew up there. He went to the schools. He went to Logos. He went to um, New uh, Andrew. He went to all of them. He graduated from them. Those were his schools. That's the college he went to. That man right there. Yet, MPD is in the fight with the Wilsons and it's the middle of the sticker gate fiasco and they hire him where does that make any sense to any it doesn't make no sense only thing it makes sense about is if they were trying to do something if something was going down that they needed someone or maybe that's how they got out of only paying 300000 instead of not more. 300000 instead of not more to the well, to the all three of those people, they each got a hundred grand. So, they each got a hundred grand, so that's three hundred thousand dollars right there, bam. Maybe get him in the, um, you know, maybe him putting him in the department there t took a big chunk of that money out that they could have, because they would have won. Trust me, those guys have lawyers up the yin yang, and they would have won. One way or another, they would have won. Or, or the. Or whatever they call winning. But. This is all my thoughts, my speculations, pure. No, my opinion, pure speculation. Um. But I do think it's very odd. Oh, and by the way, prior to him walking up the hill there, Dylan was walking in the back door with another guy who looked an awful lot like Quinn. An awful lot like him. I mean, like, really a lot like him. So why Dylan be feeded into the house that quick?
Why is Hunter the, in charge of, of this house? Why does he think he's in charge of his house? Or why is he? Maybe he is. Maybe he is the chosen one. Maybe that's why he wears that pearl necklace. All my opinion, pure speculation. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate you all. Thank you.